Yo, I'm back again, and this time we're doing a Lost Kilo player rating. Shout out my GT amazing, you get me? So yeah, straight into it today. Owner status, loves the club. Um, nickname, Les Dogues, Rev. I, I don't know, um, I don't know what that means still. Anyway, um, next, Continental Euro, Europe, Europe League. I don't know if they're still in there, I have no clue. Um, this is the same team that finessed our 72 million, Brav. Can't believe it, but anyway, wait, did they win the league? They have won the league. So at least they've at least they've won it, bruv. And as far as I'm concerned, from League Two, they've been here since what two thousand, and it doesn't say that they've got relegated. So they've been here, bruv. So yeah, lost Clio, their Defo League One team. So yeah, straight into the squad now. All right, so we're going from Orestis Carnesis all the way to Borak Yilmaz. So yeah, straight into it, bruv. All right, so Orestis Carnesis, this guy. I believe he's the one that used to play for Watford. I think. Let me just double check. Yes, it is. Brav, this guy was broken in FIFA at one point. This is football manager though. So let's see what his ratings are saying now. He's got 12 agility. Always a bad thing if they've got less than 13, 14. Because it's all about that fakeness from a keeper that I want, Brav. You get me? Um, does he have that? Reflex is 15, one of the ones 14. He can do a job. I would definitely say backup, Brav. You get me? Um... That's me being generous anyway. Like, death or backup, and that's about it, fam. So, yeah. Or rest is kind of this, bruv. All right. <clears throat> Next, Mike Magnan. All right, he's 25. Um, All right, he's got 13 agility. It's better than 12 in it, so he's definitely the first choice. And he's 25 as well, so for a keeper, that's quite young. Balance. I don't know why a keeper needs balance, bruv. I actually don't know. Jump and reach 14, error reach 13. He's six foot three. Understandable, um, 15 reflexes, 14 one on ones. Um, so you can definitely stop shots. That's all you need for a keeper. Goalkeeper defender already got that one spot on, bruv. So yeah, Mike Maganan, bruv. Defo the first choice still. So yeah, next, Jose Fonte. Okay, first outfield player, Jose Fonte. He's 36, bruv. Um, he's the one. Oh yeah, to be fair, because they felt bad that they've shaked us 72 million, they gave us Gabriel for a cheap price, you know, because he's a flipping tank breath. So yeah, he's the one that was with Gabriel, I believe. Um, spoke highly of him. Nine pace, 10 agility, nine acceleration. Can't lie. Shocking speed breath. Man's definitely going to get left behind like the flipping bus breath. You get me? Man's going to get left behind, fam. Um, understandable because he is 36, so I'm not going to get onto him too much. However, for some reason, he can play striker, bruv. Maybe that's because last minute, man, we just want to hoof balls into the box and that. He's got 16 jump reach, 17 heading. I can understand the bruv. Tactical, in it. So, yeah. But on the ball, though, 12 technique, 12 vision, 14 passing. He can definitely play ball. 10 dribbling for a centre-back ain't that bad either. He's got 14 composure. Like I said, he's already an aerial beast. He works very hard. He's got 20 leadership, bruv. So, I, I'm not even going to lie to you, man. Regardless of the pace, I will actually keep this guy. I'm not going to lie. I actually would, bruv little back free thing and and protect him put him in the middle of that let him be a ball playing defender on stopper play almost like a little cdm and he's quality fam so yeah that's jose fonte still cool next tiago jello 20 years of age um 10 agility shocking bruv but then again you're only 20 hopefully that can go up to about 12 13 when you when you escape that youth bracket in three years death or possible um six foot three 15 strength, 10, 10 technique, 11 vision, and 10 passing. So the pivot is dead, bruv. They call him no nuts and centre back for a reason because he can't really play football in it. He can win the ball. Well, it's not even that well. He can't even win the ball that well, can't lie to you. So he's definitely at risk of getting skinned, fam. Especially with eight composure. So this guy's got a lot of work to do. I'm not going to call him a lost cause because there's always a bit of light at the end of the tunnel when it's a young player, bruv. But someone like this, he, he needs a lot of work to do, bruv. Like, man needs to learn how to pass and tackle properly, fam. Safe, so yeah, Thiago Jello fam. All right, next, um, Sven Ottman. All right, another 20 year old. Um, this time, nine pace, nine agility, and nine acceleration. So, we're, we're getting slower, bruv. I don't know why you'd want someone like this out wide, bruv. Regardless if he's fullback defender or not, nine agility, you're still gonna get bucked either way by wingers, bruv. It's not gonna mean that you're not gonna get bucked by wingers, bruv. Wingers are still gonna meet you. You're still going to get twisted about. Well, you can't even twist anyway. It's just going to be in a humiliation, bruv. So, yeah, don't put him out wide. If you are going to play him, play him in the middle. You can't play someone like him and Jose Font together. Don't even think about doing that, bruv. Don't even think about it. Regardless if Jose Fonte is 36, the cool old head. Don't play two guys with grey 
physicals like that, don't do it to yourself. Mum just get absolutely skinned, bruv. One long ball is all it takes to take these men out of the game. That's what I'm trying to tell you. But at least this guy, he can he can pass, you get me? 11 technique, 10 vision and 14 passing, bruv. So, man can definitely play ball. Um, can't really dribble, but not compulsory in the air. 16 jump and reach, 15 heading. It's calm, bruv. So, yeah, overall. And he can win the ball as well. So, yeah, overall, he's he's a much better youth centre-back, bruv. So, yeah, Sven Botman. Oh, this is the one that Liverpool won, innit? Yeah, he's not he's not that bad, yeah. He's not that bad, bruv. Yeah, cool. Next, Jeremy <laughs> Pied or Pied, bruv. Cool, right back or left back, wing back attack, bruv. Now, always what I say with, with guys like this. He's got a good pivot. So he can definitely do a job in the midfield, as you're seeing already. Like, he's literally a midfielder that's playing out wide. The reason why I say that, he's got 11 tackling. So, in terms of the defensive stuff, he doesn't want to do that, bruv. But going forward, defo. So, to, to fix someone like this, you just tell them, no, you tell your centre-back to cover them, innit? Like, if you have a right, right, um, right-sided right centre-back, tell him to cover this guy, then, then it's all right. Can't lie to you, he's not that bad, fam. 14 crossing as well. Just tell him, chill there. When the ball comes, just whip it first time. No need to do all that dilly dally dribbling, yeah. He can kind of do it though, but there's no real, there's no real need, bruv. Like man can actually fourteen techniques, thirteen vision, thirteen passing. He can step inside as well, inverted wing back thing. He's cold, isn't it? Like he's a good, he's a good right back still. Jeremy Pied, bruv. Cool. Um, next, Adama Somaro. Okay, um, another centre back with no. Okay, he's got a bit of pace, but. 10 agility, 9 acceleration, but he's got mad balance though. Kind of helps him out a little bit still. A little bit of balance there, but now 15 strength, good. 10 technique, 8 vision, but 12 passing. So at least he's got execution. I can't get onto him too much, but his first touch is bouncing all over the place, bruv. It's mad fam. So yeah, Adama Somaro, um, brave as well. 13 tackling and he's 28. Yeah, not gonna lie. They call him fringe player for a reason, innit? This is a cup, cup centre back, bruv. You get me? If that fam. So, um, you can definitely do better though. Like, I would prefer to play a youth than a cup centre back like this. That's 28. That's that's not learned his lesson over the years, bruv. So, yeah. Man will just sell him, innit? Keep it real with you, man. Still safe. Um, next. Re- <laughs> Is that Ronaldo, bruv? Ray- 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 Nildo. Kind of B tech. What's this, bruv? Ray-, Ray Nildo. Wow, cool. Ray Nildo. All right, so. 26 years of age, left back or left winger. Wow, Um. okay. He's got 15 pace, 15 acceleration, so he's moving. Can't really move side to side, so it's a straight line thing. Um, 10 composure, I already know what kind of guy this is. He's one of those guys, he can't do the basics, bruv. I'm seeing it already. Sorry, I was interrupted there. But anyway, moving on. Like I said, this guy can't do the basics, bruv. Um, can't pass, can't shoot. He's a winger. If you'd even put him in defence, he can't defend as well. So overall, he's just fast in it. So rubbish, fam. So yeah, that's Ray Nail Dog, bruv. Flipping out. Cool. Anyway, I just got interrupted for the second time, bruv. I swear down. Anyway, um, next is Doma George Bradaric. All right. Um, 14 pace, 14 agility for acceleration. He's 20 years old. He's a left back. Um. He's one of those ones, though, that are much better going forward than they are defensively. Um, for me, might have to turn him into a left winger still, even a right winger. Like He can definitely do a winger thing. Reason why, I know he can't shoot, but he can pass, though. So I can definitely see him doing a little ZH thing where it's more like his passing from cutting in than his finishing, you get me? I can definitely see that, bruv. Let him cut inside. He's got good crossing as well. Good passing, like I said already. The pivot is 13 technique, 10 vision. 14 passing but he's only 20 kind of looks a bit like who's that I don't even know but anyway um, yeah man he's definitely going to be a good passer of the when he grows up anyway he's only 20 right now so man will allow him in it so yeah that's Domajid Bradaric still next um, Zeki Selik and this guy consecutively pecks me every time every single time he comes to the league like if we're doing a Premier League save or something Last time it was Leicester, for example, that bought him and he kept, he kept on scoring against me, bruv. I don't know why. What's his long shots? Eight. What's his finishing? Ten. That's probably why. It's probably why, bruv. Anyway, right back, um, full back support. 11 dribbling, 13 crossing, so I can see why. 15 pace as well. 14 acceleration, but 12 agility. So he's not moving side to side at all. But he can definitely win the ball, though. 
like 15 tackling and 16 work rate, he can definitely win the ball. And 12 vision, I mean, 12 technique, 7 vision, 14 passing. That's a brilliant pivot, bruv. Like, well, no, not, not in terms of the vision, but the passing is very good. So, like I said, these men can always just step inside. He can do a job at centre back as well. Chu say he is 5'11, what's that? 11 jump reach, 10 heading. I wouldn't really put him centre back, but he can go there. So, and he could do the wing back defending as well. Overall, he is a good right back in it. Like, he is. So, yeah, that's Zeki Selik, bruv. Cool. Um, next, Buba, Bubakari Samari. This guy's a tank, bruv. This guy's a tank. What well, is passing went down? I thought it was 17. Or oh, that's probably me. I can't remember. But anyway, so yeah, this guy, he's 21. So 13 pace, 14 balance, 12 agility, 13 acceleration. So the physicals are covered in it. He's, he's got physicals covered now. Maybe the reason why I'm saying 15 passing is because the save that I done, it was in the future in it. So I mean, 17. So maybe it went up, which just backs up my point that these men can improve, bruv. So yeah, 15 technique, 12 vision, 15 passing. So he's got the execution, but the vision is kind of lacking. Can't lie to you, but he works hard. Um, full in dribbling. So he can definitely pick up the ball and drive. And this time he can win the ball. Um, he actually can win the ball this time. Um, 12 composure as well. He's very good. He's got flair as well. Um, yeah, this guy, he's very skillful as well. You're going to have to give him some, give him a trait like, what's it? Try his tricks. Give him that trait as well. I, I don't know. He can do the deep planting. thing. I can definitely see him doing an advanced thing as well. Or Mazella. He can do all three of those. Um, very, very complete midfielder for his age. So I definitely um, have a lot of respect for this one still. So yeah. Buba Curry Samori. In real life, he takes a lot of souls as well. So it's kind of weird that Flair's not a bit higher. But anyway. First touch, 15 silky. This guy, baller in it. So yeah. Buba Curry Samori. Dirty baller. Cool. Next. Who's that? Jeka. Yeah, Zeka. Uh, he's 25. Um, deep line playmaker, support, 14 technique, 15 vision, 15 passing. Now, he's literally the um, analogy that I use all the time where he's probably not that slow in real life, probably can tackle, probably can dribble. But because his passing is so good, he doesn't need to do any of those. You get me? Because in terms of passing... He doesn't need to run because if your passing is so good, you genuinely don't need to run. The passing will do the speaking, the passing, the ball will do the moving, you get me? So you don't need to run. In terms of dribbling, if your passing is so good, you don't need to pick up the ball and drive. You don't need to, bruv. Um, Vision's 15. Yes, he's he's brilliant passer of the ball. You get me? Um, like That's literally what I'm saying. First touch, 15. So he's silky as well. Doesn't need to bang it from far. Probably getting better assists anyway. Composure, 14. Um, overall, though. Quality, quality midfielder, bruv. Zeka, fam. Um, yeah, he's six still. So, yeah. Next, um, Renato Sanchez. This guy, always fake. Always fake, bruv. Um, still 22. You get me? So, can't you can't write him off. You cannot write him off. He's still 22. He's a young guy still. Now, this guy, he's, he's amazing, though. 14 technique, 30 vision, 14 passing. He can win the ball slightly. Well, Mazella, anyway. Because Mazella's can't really win the ball. So, at least he can kind of. Works very hard, determined to do what he's doing. What's the flair? 13 is okay. You get me? Um, he can pick up the ball and drive though. And stamina, balance. Yeah, he's in terms of movement, like not, not at speed, but he can definitely move in it. The balance is mad, fam. 15 agility and acceleration as well. He's just not that fast, but he's strong. He lasts very long in what he's doing with the stamina. Brave to do what he's doing, and he's aggressive as fuck, bruv. So you already know he's going to be a terrier in that midfield, bruv. So I have to have a lot of respect for this guy. That's Renato Sanchez, bruv. Death for a baller. Death for a baller. And he bangs it from far. Seen it many times as well. Maybe not with those decisions, but it could it could work in your favour, bruv. Renato Sanchez, fam. Cool. Next, um, Benjamin Andre. Okay. Um, deep plan playmaker on defend this time. I can see why. But not deep line though. Nah, nah, nah. He's not a deep line. Still, reason why. 13 passing, no execution. You need to be a playmaker in order to be a deep line playmaker. You can't play make with 13 passing. That's no execution, bruv. It don't make sense. He's more of a ball winning midfielder slash league one Uber Eats destroyer, bruv. That's what I say. Because he's no flipping deep line player. He ain't even got the composure to do it, bruv. Allow it, fam. Like 14 work rate. 14 technique, 13 vision, 13 passing, so that's out of the window. But you can definitely do the work rate and tackling thing. What's the marking? 10. Anyway, um, 
what I'm trying to say is he's better at winning the ball than he is distributing. So he's definitely not a deep player and playmaker. Definitely not. Um, box to box, maybe. I can definitely see that happening. Um, not really with the dribbling, but definitely with the tackling being similar to the passing. But, like I said, um, probably even central midfielder defend. Ball winning midfielder. That's 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 the category that I'm going to put him in. Nowhere near deep playing though. So yeah, that's Benjamin Andre still. Cool. Um, next, Yusuf Yazici. Okay, he's 23. They put him wide playmaker. I don't know why you would do that, bruv. Um, put him in the middle, please. Like, even if he has got 10 tackling, he's only 23, so it don't really, it don't really matter, fam. Now, 16 technique, 15 vision, and 14 passing. So, it did kind of get worse and as and worse, but because he's only 23, man, can I lie, bruv? You get me? Um, I definitely trust this guy to turn into a quality player because he's just escaping the youth bracket and it's looking like he's learning his lesson and he's learned his lesson. A man's got 16 leadership already, fam. He's already telling man what to do, bruv. So, 16 flair as well. You get me? Like, man steps in, the ball's through their legs, bruv. It's long, fam. You don't want this. You don't want this smoke, bruv. You see Zashichi, bruv. You get me? Flipping 13 dribbling and can't really dribble, but he knows where the goal is, bruv. So, even as I can, he's a problem. I don't even think of it like that. As I can, he's a problem, fam. I'm deep in it now. Man knows where the goal is. First touch is silky. Flipping doesn't really need that movement. He doesn't really need it because the, the ball can do the talking. For a cam, ta- 10 tackling is not that bad. That's um, above average for a cam, 10 tackling. Very aggressive as well. So, defo for your precedent, that he's very good for pressing. Overall, he's a very good cam. Like, when I when I discovered that cam, that he could play there, yeah, he's defo better suited to playing cam still. So, yeah. Yusuf Yazichi, brav. Cool. Um, next. Luis Arujo. Arujo. <clears throat> cool. Um, all right. He's 24. Um, 12 technique, 13 vision, 12 passing. So at least he can do the basics. Can't shoot though. Not composed at all. So in terms of finishing, he can't really. But in terms of passing, at least he can pass in it. Now, movement. He's moving and kind of at speed. 14 paces baseline in it. Um, yeah. So that's about it. Um, he's a ball carrier. That's what I'm seeing with him. 14 dribbling. Yeah, 14 dribbling, 14 flair, 14 pace, 14 acceleration. Literally a ball carrier. And he can kind of distribute as well because he's got good crossing as well. But in terms of shooting, not happening. So take him off that inverted winger on attack, put him on support. You know the ones. He's a supporter, bro. So yeah, that's Luis Arujo still. Cool. Um, next. Oh, they actually did get Angel Gomez 20 flair and that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quality player, quality player, bro. Cool. Next, ah oh, man, Jonathan David, is this the one that they replaced Pepe with? It might have been, or he might have come after, but still. Yeah, man, he's just ridiculous in this game, isn't he? He's just ridiculous, bruv. The amount of times in the past this guy was mashing work, so only now. It's even better now, bruv. And fam, he's 20. 15 pace, 16 acceleration, and he's 20. Striker, take him out of that left wing position. Put him striker, please, thank you. Now. 13 technique, 12 vision, 13 passing, 14 finishing. Now, what I like about this guy, yeah, is that he can actually do the basics right, fam. Like, there's so many attackers out there that just can't do the basics. Like, they the, the shots that they're meant to shoot in, they miss them. The passes that they're meant to normally pass, they can't flip in string one pass together, bruv. Like, at least he can do the basics, fam. So, already he's got he's got the base. Like, now now we can add on that base. You get me? No, he can, he can slightly dribble. Get me, he's 20. It's all going up regardless. Whether you like it or not, it's all going up regardless, fam. Now, the, the uh, mentals, as you can see, very decorated. The only thing you can't do is positioning. But if it's off the ball good, which it is, he's a Roma. Which means if you do mark him, he's going to draw your position, bruv. And for his age, it's all going up, bruv. It's all going up. Like I said already, the pivot is 13 technique, 12 vision, 13 passing. He can definitely link play advance forward, screaming out for him. Screaming out for an advance forward of this guy. He can get in behind as well. Even if he doesn't get in behind, he can still offer something. But you get me? That's the thing that I'm talking about. At least he can offer something if he's getting in behind, bro. I mean, if he's not getting in behind. So, yeah. Jonathan David. David. Quality player, bro. Quality player. Definitely a future problem. I'm, I'm telling you, man. Now, fam. Definitely a future problem. So, yeah. Um, next. Jonathan Bamba. Was, was he here? Um, he's 24. Yeah, he might have been here still. Ah, man. Ah, this this Pepe guy, I swear down, man. I'm just looking at the guys that... Ah, man, cool. Anyway, Jonathan Bamba. 
um, 24, very fast, very, very fast, and agile as well, balance too, so you have to respect it, bruv. Now, can you do the basics? This is what I'm talking about. No, he cannot, bruv. He can't even do the basics. He can barely string a pass. He can barely string a flipping pass, and he's 24. Can't pass the ball. How can you not be able to pass the ball, bruv? That fam, it's not hard, is it? Inverted winger on support. Who the fuck are you supporting with 11 passing? It don't make sense, bruv. Why would you put him on support? Even if you put him on attack 12 finishing, 13 composure, I get it. That's literally okay. That's it. Okay, and that is the best I can say it, bruv. You get me? So, I'm, I'm thinking dribbling's 14 as well. It's not even like out of this world dribbling. And he's kind of bland. He's got, he hasn't really got that much seasoning, bruv. It's kind of bland. 11 flair. Man know that you're going to cut in. You can't even switch it up, bruv. So, yeah, this guy... He, he's looking a bit pace and that's about it to me. Can't lie to you. Yeah, that's literally it. Jonathan Bamba, just pace, bruv. Safe. Cool. Um, next is um, Timothy Weah. Timothy Weah. Um, okay. Um, left wing, strike or right wing. All of them can play left wing, strike or right wing, which is very good for tactics because if you do take over Leon, I mean, not Leon, Loskalil, um, you can definitely do the interchange, interchanging thing, you get me? Um, that's always effective, in it? So, um, with this guy now, he's 20. So, all right, um, 14 pace, 14 agility and 16 acceleration. So, good movement, you get me? Good movement. Um, now, 13, 13 technique, 11 vision, 10 passing. Can't do the basics in terms of passing. He's 20 as well. Um, I mean, 20 years old, you should be able to pass the ball at least, but you can't do that, unfortunately. Um, compose, not really... He kind of knows that the goal is better than a couple other people, though. So, can I can give him that. Four winger, four in dribbling is calm as well. But, as I say, because he's young, these are all going to go up regardless. So, man can definitely give him the benefit of the doubt in it. There's something to build off here. You get me? At least he can like, shoot a little bit in it. Tell him to shoot with power. For the technique, for a winger, isn't really that good. 13, just okay. So, yeah. Overall, um... Development winger, that's what I'm going to have to bring it down to still. Definitely a breakthrough prospect, give him some game time and that. Yeah, man. So, yeah, that's Timothy Weah still. And next is Jonathan Ekone. Okay. Um, yeah, he's probably the attacker that's running shit in this team still. That's what I'm thinking now. Um, what's, has he been here this whole time? Um, oh, he used to play for PSG. Ah, yeah. Um, all right. So, Jonathan Ikone now. Um, looking like the attacker that's running shit in this team. 16 pace, 16 agility and 16 acceleration. So, the movement is mad. He's cutting in as well on that right-hand side from the left. I mean, into the left, bro. This is what I want to see from this flipping Pepe guy in terms of stats, bro. You get me? Um, he can dribble. He can, he's fast as fuck as well. A little bit of balance, fam. Just a little bit of balance. 15 technique, 13 vision, 12 passing. He can do the basics, bro. He can do the basics. He kind of knows where the goal is as well with 13 finishing as well. He's 22, so there's something to build off, fam. First touch, silky. Overall, pretty much anything that you want from a winger, he can do, bruv, apart from strength. And that's about it, fam. I'm thinking now because you want your wingers to be fast. You want them to have a bit of trickery, which he's got. You want them to be able to dribble, know where the goal is, which he's got, kind of. First touch, 15. That's always crucial for a winger. And, and technique as well. And the pivot is calm. You get me? He can do a little passing thing. The only thing about this guy that's letting him down is his anticipation, which is which is very key. Can't lie. I can't lie. That's that's a big letdown still. Um, as as you're seeing, this attribute reflects the the, the player's ability to predict to fucking you know. Man, I can't even read about flipping out anyway. This attribute reflects the player's ability to predict and react to events going on around them. Tells you everything you need to know, bruv. Like, man don't know what's going around him, bruv. Like, he don't know what's going on, bruv. And he's 22. You're going to have to train that individually for it to improve. Then all of a sudden, it's looking decent again. So, yeah. Overall, he's their best attacker. That's what I'm seeing. And I'm not going to compare him to Pepe anymore, but I'm just pissed off that we got him in it. Like, Pepe, shit, fam. Can't lie to you. Say how it is, fam. Cool. Next, Burak Yilmaz. Okay. Oh, I saw that 17 finishing immediately. That's why I screamed like that. But um, anyway, um, Burak Yilmaz, is, is he a new sign? I ain't heard of this guy ever. Yeah, he's a new signing still. Beshik, that's cool. Um, Burak Yilmaz now, he's just that one striker. 
Like the rest of them are just all interchangeable in it as you're seeing. But this guy is just that one striker, bruv. Like one out and out poacher. Um now, with this guy, he's 15 pace. For for 35 year old, that's pretty good. Can't lie to you, poultry as well. So he offers nothing but goals according to the game. Can I agree with them? Um According to his pivot, yes, I can. I actually can as well. Wow. So he's composed. He's got everything you need to be a flipping poacher as well. Yeah, he's a poacher still. Um, he's going to take quite a while to get to that 15 pace, but when he eventually does get there, um, 14 strength, he can bully man around. 17 off the ball, 17 finishing. So yeah, he's defo banging goals still, especially in this league, defo banging goals, bruv. Composed as well, with his heading like 13. Always knew that man aren't really that good at heading, bruv. But at least he knows where the goal is in it. Best finisher at the club and that. Penalties, all of that. So yeah, Borak Yilmaz, we're not going to dwell on it too much, bruv. So yeah, um, you man, I, I really apologise for those interruptions in the video, bruv. But um, obviously I can't control them. So anyway, so you man, if you like the video, like the video. Subscribe to the content you know what to expect from me. Shout out to TMAs once again. And I'll see you in my next episode.